expelled from France after the violence in Marseille before England's game against Tunisia. Four more appear in court later today, and another 21 are still being held by police. Last night, the first three English fans to be convicted for their part in the fighting were sent to prison by a French court. The first three of England's football hooligans leaving the French court jailed after a night of rioting that's been described as a national disgrace. Come on, you bastard! Here, captured on camera, 32-year-old James Shaler goading the French riot police. He's admitted throwing missiles at them and was jailed for two months. A roofer from Wellingborough in Northamptonshire, there are reports he's a known soccer hooligan on a police category C list. Here, fighting with Tunisian supporters, two more of those jailed. 26-year-old Graham Whitby, a postman from Liverpool. He's starting a three-month sentence for setting fire to a car and inciting others to riot. So is his colleague, Christopher Anderson, also a Liverpool postman. He was found guilty of the same offences. And as the fight continues, he's seen here picking up a stone to throw. At James Shaler's home in Wellingborough, no one was in. He lives with his girlfriend and is the father of three children. Friends have been springing to his defence, saying he's been badly treated. No one, no one knows him better than what I do, to be honest with you. I, I said to him, I, I quote the precious dad, I said he's a, he's a decent bloke, family bloke, he's got three kids. You all know, you all know now he's got, he's got three kids. Um, I can't say any more about him at the end of the day. He's, he's a decent bloke. But there's been general condemnation of the night of rioting in Britain, and the French say their system of fast-track justice is fair. The three just jailed were among hundreds of British football supporters involved. More are to appear before the French courts. Valerie Jones, BBC News. Well, four of the English fans arrested are appearing in court in Marseille.